This is Bill Arman, the co-founder of the Harvest Group, and I serve as head harvester for the West Coast. You know, Ed Laflamme, my partner and I, we go all around the United States. In fact, we're going all around the world these days and asking leaders a certain set of questions. So we developed this session here. It's called part of our leadership series. So the question we ask these leaders, what keeps you awake at night? We'll come back right after they answer these quest this question here, and we'll have some more questions for you. How about that? We'll see you soon. During the winter, it's worrying about the H2B visa program and whether we're going to get our guys. Um, in the spring of the year, it's staying on top and being out front of uh, production. As we've grown the business, there's fewer things that keep me awake at night. Um, I've delegated a lot of those things to people and they seem to worry about them more than I do. What I spend my time with is, uh, is working with them to ensure that they, uh, they understand what their, where their focus needs to be and what their goals are. I think that with the world changing so quickly, um, you know, the, envir the business environment that we're in now, I mean, it, it is a, it's a tough, tough environment to work within. The political system is so um, tenuous at this point. You know, a lot of people don't know, you know what the future looks like. We don't know where the, where the company, country's going. Uh, our clients are um, hesitant to make decisions quickly because uh, they were nervous about the, you know, where the, the country is going. So the things that keep me up are you know, how do we stay agile? How do we stay nimble enough to um, change with you know, the fast-changing environment, the, the fast-changing um, te technology that, that is helping us, but also um, <clears throat> makes our clients uh, demand instantaneous question or answers to their questions and instantaneous responses. You're never away from work anymore. There's two things currently that keep me up at night. One is human resources. Um, I feel that uh, a lot of people are not truly in tune with what you need to do as far as human resources. I think people take uh, risks, um, follow their gut maybe too often and uh, don't do things properly or do knee-jerk reactions. So that's the first thing that keeps me up at night. And the second thing that keeps me up at night is a um, insurance. Um, making sure that my franchisees are insured. Um, properly and that they understand the gaps in some of the uh, you know in our industry pollution coverages or in some of the gaps in the general liability and learning that myself uh, understanding what those gaps are um, are the two things that keep me up at night. Problem solving you know maybe something came up through the day or something we're working on as a company and and I seem to uh, problem solve and that keeps me awake but uh, that's part of, uh, you know, that's the challenge. I mean, if I wasn't concerned and uh, uh, didn't enjoy problem solving, you know, we probably wouldn't be where we are. So, and, you know, so that's probably the biggest thing. You know, I sleep pretty well. And, <laughs> and I, uh, and maybe it's a way that I, I have structured the business. Uh, you know, I count on my people, the people who work with me, um, and, and I uh, delegate responsibility uh, to them, and um, so so in in that philosophy, that then you know they're the ones. If anything, we all have sleepless nights, and, and if I know that they're in a position to take responsibility for their actions, and something's not going quite right, and they're having a, a sleepless night over it. Um, you know, that just means that they're, they're fully committed and they're, they're sharing the success and the struggles of, of business day-to-day uh, -day and, and long-term success. What, what used to keep me up were people, but you know, I, I'm really comfortable with our people. What keeps me up now is more, more so in things that are not in my control. Government regulations, um, things that really control our business, whether it be climate, uh, whether it be uh, you know things that are just out of out of my control. Those are things that keep me up. I'm, you know, I'm real concerned about uh, where our employees are headed for health care. I'm real concerned about uh, you know these some of these undue regulations in regard to ethanol and fuel, or or some of the water regulations that 
sometimes seem to be unreasonable and uh, ha we have no control on them. Certainly we can tailor our processes around them, uh, but uh, they certainly uh, present challenges to me and, and to our company. Actually, I've been blessed. I don't stay up at night very often, and when I do, it's generally not because of business pressure. Um, so there has been times that I've had, had some sleep at night, mostly because of people, because of people that are uh, causing some problems and just trying to find a way to solve it. But in general, sleep's important to me, so I try not to uh, lose it too often. Okay, so what keeps you awake at night? Well, you just learned what keeps some of these leaders awake at night. H2B and federal regulations and how that affects your organization. Good spring startups. We know we get that startup and we have that 100 days of hell. Let's make hell go away, shall we, real quickly? Uh, tough environment, the economy, what's going to happen? It's hard to predict where the, your customers are going to be buying things or not buying things. Uh, human resources, always a big challenge and certainly uh, you always have to consider that because that's what we're all about, having the right people. And talk about insurance issues, you know, with, with health insurance and all those fundamentals that are coming up in the future here, how are you going to deal with that? So just some of the things that keep the leaders that we interviewed here awake at night. So here's the question for you. What keeps you awake at night that involves your business and what are you doing about that? What can you do about those things and have a good night's sleep? All right, this is head harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. Now go out there and harvest your potential with this leadership series. We know it's going to help you out. We'll see you next session.